On the California coast, about an hour south of Los Angeles, there's a quaint little village named Newport Beach. Known primarily for its beauty, shopping, and surfing. It's also home to 83-year-old inventor George Margolin. Oh, I'm taking a picture, doing a little video. George is out on the boardwalk today demonstrating his latest product called the video visor. Looking at a camera, looking at me. Oh my god. You got an iPhone? Yeah, I think I do. iPhone, let's say take a picture with the iPhone. Yeah, sure. Holly, stand over there. Uh, let me... It's a nice picture. George is using an iPhone to illustrate just how difficult it is to see your typical video screen in the bright sunlight. That's the best I can do with this. Okay, now. In just a matter of seconds, George has installed his video visor onto the yeah, iPhone. Yeah. Here you have a device that will give you a shade or a glare remover. Not only does the video visor shield the screen from direct sunlight, it also includes a magnifier, which allows you to see your screen up close. If you use the magnifier, you have the same kind of ability to look through a camera that they used to have. His video visor not only helps you see what you're shooting, but it also gives you the added benefit of stability Holding and balance. Just, and when you have only one hand on the thing, it's kind of floating in the air. This way you now have solid hold. Using two hands and holding it up to your eyes, it's become less of a phone and more of a professional yeah, camera. Because the iPhone is now the camera of choice. It is the one camera that everybody carries with them all the time. George's video visor was an instant hit to a number of strollers who passed by. Photograph the guy who photographed you last time. <laughs> and it turns out that it's not just for the iPhone. It will attach to most Androids, small point-and-shoot digitals, and even video cameras. George has already begun to mass produce the video visor, and he's landed big name photography website VH Photo to distribute his product. In a couple of seconds, the thing is now locked, and I'll put it in my pocket. So I decided to try it out on my own video camera, and I must say, seeing is believing. So we now are able to take our pictures. It was great to meet George and learn about his video visor. And as a new user of his invention, I just want to say, see ya.